Welcome back, people. Thank you for coming back yet again to KK and EV. Today, we are going to concentrate on the wife's little Seat Me. I'm sitting in it now, as you can see. The thing is, I'm just looking back now. I thought I'd do a bit of a review or a, a look back of have we bought the right car? Did we need something bigger? Did we need something with more range? And what's gone wrong? And what have I added to it, if anything? The first thing I'm going to say or have a look at is some add-ons. Yes, I've added stuff on. Did it need it? Not really. But the things I've put in, and they're both interior-wise, may I add, I see them as a bit of a bonus. Some people will see them as a waste of time. Others will think, yeah, I'll, I'll get that for my little Seat Me or my Volkswagen E or, or my, what's the other one, the City Go from Skoda. Here, yeah, I'll show you. Okay, first thing I'm going to point out to you is something I personally wanted. The wife weren't too bothered, but I did explain that it's a way of, of having a, a, a front camera for idiots on the road nowadays and a rear camera. At first, I just purchased a normal dash cam that I wasn't too pleased with and I thought, mm, I can better that. So I did, so this is what I got. There you go. Now, I'm gonna turn this thing on and show you what happens. It's doing its thing now, look. Turn that off a moment, please. And there you go. Now, this is up, hooked up to my wife's uh, phone. So every time she gets in the car, this will come on and it will automatically go to her phone. So I, I'm not gonna be able to show you. So, look, you see it's prompting now, looking, trying to get hook up. It can't because her phone is in the house. So I'm just gonna show you the basics of it. Um, I've actually attached it. It came with this quite big stand, as you can see here, which you meant to, you know, screw in. Well, I'm not going to screw into this. It didn't seem right. So I just used a very heavy duty sticker. If you can see from this side as well, look, that's all I've done. I've just used, a, a, you know, a, a, the sticker on the, on the flat bit of this and it seems to be working fine. I'll bring you back over here. So let me just show you what this does and what it can't do. Like I say, without a being here, I can't show you a great deal. This is the reversing camera, which is quite a good picture, isn't it? Uh, also, you can split screen it, so you can get two uh, front and back. It's on record now, as it, as it tells you. You can actually play back the screens. You can touch and have it one screen, but let's have a look. If I, there you go, it stopped recording. And then you've got all of the recordings you've done. So let's just pick one here, play it, there you go. So it's quite good. I mean, I can't knock it for what it does. And then obviously while you're looking at it, you can just delete it or go to the next one. That was a silly van that we up me backside all the way home today, actually from Nottingham. But anyway, that, so yeah, that's the, the, the rear camera, which I put in separate and the front camera. Um, you've got Android Auto and you've also got Apple CarPlay and actually play back button, obviously. Now the Ask actually got its own audio output as well with a built-in speaker behind it. It's not great, but it's okay. But it does give you other options. I've got this hooked up to this. So on 108, which I've chosen to be the channel, it will automatically play through the music and, and stereo speakers of the car. You can also put it on the side here, um, an audio, uh, going now oh, you see let's just picked up the 108 look see uh, and also it's got the an audio plug here which will come down and go into the front so you've got three options of doing it you either use its own sound you can use obviously the audio little lead which is quite a big lead actually let me show you what comes with it it's a big old long one that as you can see in the pack let me see it only needs to be about four inches but look at that just in case anyway Get back in there so yes i've been i've been quite happy with this now this came off ebay I, I will put a link to this at the bottom if anyone wants to have a look and you can adjust the brightness look as you do uh, i found it better to be about halfway so yeah quite pleased with that and like i say i've not screwed it in so i don't confirm no cancel there you go so yeah that's one thing i fitted so all right you can see a few wires going down here and they took behind the steering wheel so they do actually disappear but i could do a better job than that i could you know put them somewhere i could drill a hole put them through here and trace them down but i'm not because in case the wife didn't get on with it so that's number one i think that looks pretty good you can it doesn't affect the your view at all especially for me or when she's got the seat right up if she does so yeah pretty chuffed with that 
it's a good old unit. £73 delivered, which I feel was a bit of a bargain. So there you go. And also, of course, because it's the way it is, um, I wanted it to give her better music than the, just the dab radio. So now she listens to tuning radio on that and it's got modern country on it. It's got 80s, 90s music, whatever. So you can cast from it, look as well. Nearly forgot about that. Wi-Fi video. So, you, you know, if you've got an Android, you can put your phone on there. You can actually do it with CarPlay as well. Uh, but you have to disconnect from your FM and then go into it and you can put your, your, your phone, your full phone will show up there, your screen of your phone. Mirroring as they call it. So that was number one. So that's what I put in for the lady and she's getting on with it. So actually liking it. And don't forget you get a full sat nav up there as well from your phone, which is great. So there's number one, 73 quid eBay, link below. All right, number two, the second thing I put in and, and you purists are gonna see it straight the way in there, armrest. Right, you have, first of all, click, and you've got storage in there and I've put some tissues and a torch in there. so. It's not the greatest glove box in the world, so a bit more storage in there is great. It's also completely removable all the way up to the top. Press the button, click, 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 wherever you want it to be, about there. Now, there's a bit of movement in it, but don't be put off by that because it's quite sturdy. And there is two or three ways of actually putting it in the hole in the back. You do lose your cup holder hole, but let me get around the back and show you what I did. Okay, let's jump in the back here. It might be a bit dark, actually. Right, all it does, it sits in this here. Don't forget, I mean, these ain't the most expensive cars. So you have got a bit of movement, as you can see there on this. It's not, you know, superbly fitted in by Volkswagen or Seattle or whoever. Well, what I did, let me show you, down in here, it's only got one screw hole and one that keeps it into place, uh, which is there, the middle one. What I did, I, I drilled a, a, an extra hole so now I've got two screws in here holding this down, so it's a lot firmer than it was before because it used to move around, but I've got two in there now. If you take this out, which is very easy, you just push it forward, clip it out, and once you've took that middle screw out, you'll see that there's a, a bar going across a steel bar. And I just drilled into the steel bar and then put a self-tapper in it, so now I've got two screws in it. So it's a lot better than it was. It came with just this, but if you notice, as I tilt it forward, there are these little pads like felt pads. These felt pads are just basically stickies. And you put one there, one there, one there, one around the front. And all it does, it takes up that slack. Because when you put this back in, it's a bit wobbly, but with the stickies on, the felts, when you push it down, it's quite sturdy. Now, if you want to make it even more sturdy, you would drill one there, one there, black self tapper so you hardly see them, and make it really permanent. But I didn't want to go that route because, or route, because don't forget to get to your handbrake adjustment, you have to take this out. I even thought about gluing this permanently in here so it would never come out again. But please don't, because if you do that, right, you'll never get to the screws to take this out. So you'll never be able to adjust your handbrake, which is in here. So do what I've done, because it doesn't come with any instructions, but uh, let me tell you how much it was. Now, certain people are selling these for around 65 quid. They ain't worth 65 quid. But it's a, you know, to, to put your arm on something as you're going along, it ain't a bad thing. And it matches quite well. I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, and it don't really restrict your handbrake either, if you notice, because it's, it, it's set quite back. I paid 26 pound delivered off eBay. So again, I'll put the link down there if anyone wants the link to it. So easy to do, you just screw it all together with four screws in here. Um, put one screw into the center of it before you put it, boom, you got it. It's a, it's a complete unit. 26 quid, I think that's a bit of a bargain. And if you don't like after a bit, you can always take it out and resell it, but don't make it a permanent fixture because you've got to get to this if anyone ever services your handbrake. So yeah, that's uh, add-on number two. I know what you're thinking now. Has anything gone wrong? Well, yes, it surprises me because you know people going about Volkswagens and Seats being great and all that malarkey. It's a minor thing. Let me explain. This came with the option, as you've seen that very first video I did of this. That side works perfect. The switch comes on, two little yellow lights, stays on. Driver's side, came to use it a couple of days ago, clicked it on, 
the light came on, stayed on for about two seconds, went off. So I believe there's something wrong with the heat sensor underneath this seat. Now I've had a look and all the wiring seems good. There's nothing burnt out or anything and the element would be okay. So I, I believe it's just a, a sensor which has played up. It's under warranty. It's got a three year warranty with this thing. It's only just over two years old. So hopefully Seat Now or Marshalls where I bought it from, will put that right. So that is the only thing that's gone wrong. So no major. Some people don't even like heated seats. My missus has turned around and said, well, I'm not bothered if it works or not. And well, no, winter's coming up. Why wouldn't it not work? It's under warranty, let's get it fixed. So, minor, not major. It's the only thing that's gone wrong. We have collected no major stone chips or anything on the front yet. I've only done about a thousand miles in it, don't get me wrong, just over a thousand miles. Uh, but again, you know, we didn't buy it for long journeys. We bought it for town and, and city driving and nipping into Derby, Nottingham, Leicester. And that's what we purchased it for, so I've, so far, yeah, it still looks as new as it was when we bought it. No problems whatsoever. I've put these on to, just for my liking, because I don't want it to stand out a bit more. So yeah, so far so good. Oh, oh. Well, has it been the car that we thought it was gonna be? We do have a baby seat, toddler seat, whatever you want to call them nowadays, in the car one day a week on a Tuesday where we look after one of, one of our grandchildren for a day. That fits in fine. He's a devil for kicking this, so I just push that forward. So yeah, there's enough space in the back for what we considered. Um, like I say, the extras, I, I'm going to stop at that. I'll put the armrest in, I'll put this thing in here, and I think that's enough. I'm not going to spend any more money on it. Just been in touch with Marshalls, who we purchased it off in Leicester. They are a Seat, hello. They are a Seat dealer, as well as a Nissan dealer. We've got outlets in Leicester all over the place. Quite a big dealership. It's been very good. It's still under warranty through um, themselves, because they gave me a year's warranty on parts and labor when I bought it. And also, it's still under Seat warranty as well. You get three years on Seat. The first two years covers the whole shebang, and then the final year out of the three, there's a few things it don't cover. Luckily, the heated seats on this side, warranty based. So that's going in on November five or six, I'll have to double check on that, November six, sorry, for it to be done. So yeah, that's the Monday, on, it's going in, it's gonna be warranty free on parts and labor, so it's gonna come back with that lovely switch there for the heated seats working again. And I've not seen anything else since we, we purchased this that would give me up to that 150 stroke, 155 mile range in the summer. Yes, it goes down in the winter, I'm gonna realize that. And it does go down when you've got your heater, uh, uh, your air conditioning on. But for what we purchased it for, yes, still happy. Yes, we did the right thing. Yes, it was perfectly priced at 10K. I feel it's still a bargain, a couple of months in, and it, no regrets whatsoever. Uh, if you've not watched, the first video about this car, please do. It's a little review of why we bought it. And this is just an up version of that and an update of that. So yeah, no regrets. So if you want a small, full electric car, easy to park, very basic on its instrumentation and its you know, and its way you drive it, but with Volkswagen engineering behind it, if you're a big Volkswagen fan, and believe it or not, I'm not, get a see at me or a Volkswagen E-Up if you want to pay a little couple of grand extra. That brings me to something else. Now, this brings me to my last point before I close this um, update video of this uh, Seat Me. Would I have bought the Volkswagen E-Up? Yeah, of course I would, but I couldn't get one at 10K with only just turned 15,000 mile and just turned two year old. There is no way, for some reason, that Volkswagen badge still draws that tiny bit of I don't know, extra into it. And I've never understood that because to me, this is exactly the same car. It's the same mechanics, it's the same electrics, it's the same everything, apart from a few very cosmetic small changes of body design. So I wouldn't have paid the extra two or 3,000 pounds because there was an EOP I saw, similar mileage, similar condition and everything else from a dealer. And it was 13,000 for exactly the same spec. Why would you pay an extra 3K 
when I, you know you can get this for 10. I don't quite understand people's look at that because to me there is no difference. Maybe you can tell me out there that you prefer Volkswagen over Seat. I don't know why you would, but even the warranty is exactly the same. So drop a comment below if you're a big Volkswagen fan over Seat and tell me why you'd prefer the Volkswagen over the Seat and, and everything, especially in this case being full electric, because like I say, it is identical platform. It's identical of what you get spec wise. And especially this model that I got with the heated seats and the heated front screen and everything, I don't think there's any difference at all or any more extras you can get with the E-Up over this. Prove me wrong. Okay, people, that's it. It was only going to be a small one just to say where we are with it. And to finish it, I'm going to answer, yes, we did right by buying it. Zero regrets. There you go. So that's the answer to this one. And don't forget the two updates I've done. So if, they, if you like them, try them. Like I say, links below. Okay, that's it. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to go inside now and buy myself a nice bit of lunch. Stay with the channel. Plenty more to come. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click on that icon bell thing that you see. Bing! And then you'll get the videos as soon as they come up. And like I say, thumbs up every time, every video would be great. It does help the analytics. Catch you later, people. I'm going to smash this camera with that windscreen now. Ah!